So there's a miniature war going on outside. Yeah, welcome to the gulag, everyone. It's the 4th of July. Happy 4th of July, by the way, everyone. Hope you all are staying safe, celebrating America's independence. Ah, so we want to come to you all with a little bit of a video showing a couple projects we've started up. Um, so let's go on and get to showing you all here. Land and shield. Oh, well, well we don't have a shield now. We did. So this right here is a set of Roman gladiator armor that we are in the process of making for our friend Landon. Uh, his new character is going to be a post-apocalyptic gladiator. So we got some, uh, I believe this was 12 millimeter? Yes. This is 12 mil millimeter EVA foam. Uh, and we went ahead and cut it out as we needed it. Um, he wanted just the left arm uh, armored up and the other side where he can still move around. So um, we're gonna be taking a little bit of a break uh, for just a couple days to go on and just refresh everything. And then we'll be coming back to finish this. We'll be sure to give you an update on this. Um, we are definitely not done with it at all. Grenade! Hold on. Or in German. As I proceed to get gold paint all over me. So, and then Brandon decided he was going to throw this together last minute. Um, this is a stick grenade prop. This is a prop stick grenade. ATF, do not come raid us. Um, would you like to tell us what this is? What this is made out of? A, a uh, CO2 canister. And your favorite thing in the world, a washer hose. <laughs> and he put some EVA foam as the handle. Um, he's not done with it yet, but no, it's, a, it's a cool little prop if you do any filmmaking or anything This is a perfect little stick grenade prop uh, It's very heavy. Do not clonk someone in the head with it Obviously because that's a metal co2 tank. It's also very cheap compared to paying about $40 for a real one. Yeah So let me go on and put this back. Well, here. not a real one a demilled one The mask the mask Cameron's mask that he made. Awesome mask. He's making more. Why don't you explain that part? Yeah, so um, at some point here pretty soon, I'll be getting some more material in, some more burlap, some more canvas, and I'm actually going to start a Etsy shop uh, where I can, I can actually make a mask out of burlap or canvas, and I'll be able to sell it on Etsy. Um, I'll, be able to, I'll be sure to come and make another video once I get my shop up and running. Well, we're also going to start working on small props when we get the opportunity. Yeah, when we get the opportunity. Um, we have but as it, stands, out. as it stands right now, we're sticking with just yeah. masks on my end. Yep. Um, I'll be sure to drop all the information in a video uh, here coming soon once I actually get it all done. We want to do props, but props are more of a custom thing. And they're very time consuming. They're that took precise. us all day. Yeah, literally. Just getting that armor the way it is now, it took us all day just to do that. Um, whereas I can get a mask practically done. If I start at 8 o'clock in the morning, I should be able to get it done by at least noon, one, noon 1 o'clock. Probably that pot of water, please. Right. That one. There you go. So, um, yeah, once we get all the information up for y'all, um, I'll be sure to go on and drop a link to the Etsy shop where you can come and buy the mask. I'm going to be making them very cheap. They're going to be very affordable, but I'm also going to be hand-making them. So don't don't expect like a $5, $10 mask, but don't expect anything over $60. Wow, I'm going to make these extremely affordable. Um, as Brandon can tell you, they're, all, they're very breathable masks. Um, while he's chugging a bottle of water here. This is actually very amusing to watch. But yeah, I'm, I make the masks. Um, the prototype had latex in the face. I found out that was very, very hot and it didn't really work so well. This so the ma these masks here, if you don't mind me seeing it, this is all burlap. Uh, if you can hold my drink there. The only um, thing is that could itchy a little bit, but there are well, ways to fix keep, that. Keep in mind, being as it was him, I didn't really take the time, but on the newer models, once I get them done, I'll be putting some felt fabric uh, on the inside here just to make it a little more comfortable to wear. Um, 
It might make it a little bit hotter. I don't know. Oh, you should tell them what Brandon Shield is made of. Yeah, it's a car bumper. Again, <laughs> it's a car bumper. But, um, yeah, as I was saying, the prototype mask that I started with, Brandon, you probably remember this. Um, it, we used an entire bottle of liquid latex on it. it. Found out it was extremely hot to wear. Literally, I was sitting inside in, you know, 72 degree air conditioned weather inside a house. Had the thing on for five minutes and literally I was pumping out sweat. So what I decided to do with these newer model masks, this is nothing but just straight burlap. This is just burlap, hot glue, some stitching, and some paint. But I can do um, the one eye like that. I can do both eyes. I can do stitched up areas in the face. Um, I've also, uh, my own personal mask that I've started for Sarge um, actually has a glass aperture right there in the eye socket. We're also doing a child's gas mask. Yes, yeah, so I am. Very I'm trying to figure out something to do with a child's gas mask. I'm trying to make something very creepy out of it. Um, Why don't we tell them what this is? And we're not exactly sure what we have planned for this, but... Well, it's your project. We have a telescope. A broken telescope. If you guys have any ideas as to what you want to, want to see us do with this, uh, drop us a comment down in the comments down below. Um, Brandon, no. Stop it. Yeah, but, um, there's one more to go. But, yeah, so, like I said, once I get my Etsy shop up for the masks, I'll be sure to drop them in uh, on a video uh, coming here pretty soon. I'll be getting it set up here relatively soon. Um, so, yeah, stay on the lookout for that, and I think that's just about it. Machine gun set. Think. So that's what we're going to do. <laughs> okay. But, um, yeah, guys, so if you're interested in getting a mask from me, um, I can hand make them. Like I said, I'll be getting some canvas. I'll be getting a couple rolls of canvas here pretty soon. I'll be able to make canvas versions of those masks. I can make uh, burlap versions of those masks. Um... I can, I'm honestly thinking about trying it with blue jeans as well. I, I know that uh, blue jean denim material could make a very weird mask. I'm trying so hard to make Cameron break character. Uh, th this isn't a character, it's just me though. But still, I'm still trying to make you. But um, yeah, guys, so like I said, if you're interested in getting a mask from me, um, just be patient and uh, I'll have an Etsy shop here pretty soon. Um, so y'all can come buy masks from me and I'll, I'll, I'm open to do custom orders as well. So if you have a certain look or design that you're wanting, Pretty keep much in mind. Pretty been doing is custom orders. Yeah. So keep in mind though, guys, my masks are not meant to be a perfect creation because I don't want to make them perfect. Because the way I want these masks scary to come out. Scary is not perfect. Yeah. Scary is not perfect. If you're looking for perfect, go to Hollywood. Um, the thing about um, the thing about having a perfect mask, I mean, you can see right here, guys, this is not perfect. This, this is not perfect, pretty, it's scary, though. I make these masks to be scary and scary affordable at the same time. Um, because I want these to look like a serial killer or someone made this in their woodshed after just slaughtering someone. So that's what I'm doing with these. Um, and that's how the canvas masks are going to be coming. That's how the other material masks are going to be coming. Eventually, I want to get into sculpting and molding latex and silicone masks. But um, that's way later down the road. Um, but, yeah. So, if you want a mask, like I said, stay tuned. And I'll have my Etsy shop up. And y'all can grab them. Um, if you're across the country, I can ship them all Relatively across the country. Cheap. Relatively cheap. I'll, be, I'll have to. Well, that'll be added in on Etsy once I get the shop up. It'll I mean, honestly, you probably could put that in one of the envelopes, you know, the yeah. fold it up. And but like I said, Etsy should, Etsy will calculate that in yeah. how, how much it costs me to ship it to where you're at. But I'll, I'm more than happy to ship it across country. I, I've got one client that I know of that is actually in Washington. Uh, not Washington, D.C., Washington, like over West Coast side. Remember, it's not Washington, D.C. anymore. It's just D.C. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, she is actually in Washington. Um, I've got it set up where I can ship it to her. So if I can ship it to Washington, I can ship it to you. So yeah, I think that's just about it for this video. Just wanted to give a quick little update video. Uh, stay tuned. We got a lot of cool stuff coming. We'll be sure to do an update when we get the armor rolling again. 
And yeah, so Cameron Pierce, Brandon Annette, Cult of the Woods. We'll catch you in the next one. See ya.